Good morning. This is Pastor Jeff. These are our daily lectionary readings for Wednesday, August 17th, 2022. Our three readings, Psalm 32, Jeremiah 25, 30 through 38, and the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 45 through 48. Let us listen in to our three scriptures today via the message. Our psalm reading, Psalm 32. Count yourself lucky, how happy you must be. You get a fresh start, your slate wiped clean. Count yourself lucky, God holds nothing against you, and you're holding nothing back from him. When I kept it all inside, my bones turned to powder. My words became day-long groans. The pressure never let up. All the juices of my life dried up. Then I let it all out. I said, I'll come clean about my failures to God. Suddenly, the pressure was gone. My guilt dissolved. My sin disappeared. These things add up. Every one of us needs to pray. When all hell breaks loose and the dam burst, we'll be on high ground, untouched. God's my island hideaway. Keeps danger far from the shore. Throws garlands of hosannas around my neck. Let me give you some good advice. I'm looking you in the eye and giving it to you straight. Don't be ornery like that horse or mule that needs the bit and brittle to stay on track. God defiers are always in trouble. God affirmers find themselves loved every time they turn around. Celebrate God. Sing together, everyone. All you honest hearts, raise the roof. Our Old Testament reading today comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 25, verses 30 through 38. Preach it, all Jeremiah. Preach the entire message to them. Say, God roars like a lion from high heaven. Thunder rolls out from his holy dwelling. Ear-splitting bellows against the people. Shouting hurrahs like workers in the harvest. The noise reverberates all over the earth. Everyone, everywhere, hears it. God makes his case against the godless nations. He's about to put the human race on trial. For the wicked, the verdict is clear cut. Death by the sword. God's decree. A message from God of the angel armies. Prepare for the worst. Doomsday. Disaster is spreading from nation to nation. A huge storm is about to rage all across planet Earth. Laid end to end, those killed in God's judgment that day will stretch from one end of the earth to the other. No tears will be shed and no burials will be conducted. The bodies will be left where they fall, like so much horse dung fertilizing the fields. Wail, shepherds, cry out for help. Grovel in the dirt, you masters of flocks. Time's up. You're slated for the slaughterhouse, like a choice ram with its throat cut. There's no way out for the rulers, no escape for the shepherds. Hear that? Rulers crying for help. Shepherds of the flock wailing. God is about to revenge their fine pastures. Their peaceful sheepholds will be silent with death. Silence by God's deadly anger. God will come out into the open like a lion leaping from its cover and the country will be torn into pieces, ripped and ravaged by his anger. Our New Testament reading comes from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 19, verses 45 through 48. Going into the temple, he began to throw out everyone who had set up shop Selling everything and anything, he said, It's written in scripture, My house is a house of prayer. You have turned it into a religious bazaar. From then on, he taught each day in the temple. The high priests, religious scholars, and the leaders of the people were trying their best to find a way to get rid of him. But with the people hanging on, every word that he spoke, they couldn't come up with anything. And here ends our readings for the day. God's peace and blessings to you.